Hello and welcome to a Jaren 134 video. Today is the day. It's Windows 8 day. And today I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade to Windows 8. First thing you want to go ahead and do is open your web browser. My web browser is actually Google Chrome. Now when you get into the browser, you're going to want to go to your address bar and type in windows.com. Once you've made it to windows.com, you'll see a page that looks like this. You're going to want to go ahead and click on download and shop. Here you'll see built to amaze, learn more. Actually, you're going to want to scroll down a little bit until you see get your hands on Windows 8. You'll see a little button to click buy Windows Now. When that comes up, you'll be sent to the great upgrade, great deal page. On the great upgrade, great deal page, you want to go ahead and click download. You'll have your browser come up and ask you what you want to do with the download. And you download to desktop. I already got it downloaded, so I'm going to cancel. Once it's downloaded to the appropriate place that you'll know where to get to the file, you just close out of your browser. And you should have, if you've got wherever you've got the icon located, or the, the file that you downloaded from the Windows website, You'll see Windows Upgrade Assistant as the file or the application that you're going to want to run to begin the upgrade process. So, once you've downloaded the Windows 8 Upgrade Assistant, because it doesn't tell you what you're downloading, it just tells you the upgrade's $39.99 and you click and it opens up the download and the Upgrade Assistant is the title of the download. And then, you save the download to wherever you're going to be able to get to it quickest. I saved it to my desktop. And it looks like this right here. The um, little arrow pointing to a screen. And you're just going to want to right click it and run it as administrator. And the application should begin to run. Windows 8. Yes! I'm so excited. Checking your apps and devices. Let's see what's compatible. The Windows 8 Upgrade Assistant will go through and see what on your computer is going to be hardware wise and application wise what you're going to be able to um, App-wise, what are you going to be able to use when you get to Windows 8? And hardware-wise, it's going to let you know if your hardware is compatible. Which, I already know my hardware is compatible or I wouldn't be doing this video, obviously. So, we're just waiting for it to check apps and devices. Yeah. Now that it has did the application and device check, it comes to a menu letting you know 44 of your apps and devices are compatible with Windows 8. It says that there are five items for you to review. Now, this screen will not be the same for everyone. Reason being is that everyone does not have the same apps or hardware devices on their computer. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look at what the five things are. It's telling me a game is not compatible, a virtual CD drive thing is not compatible. Uh, it's just telling me, huh. So it's marking the things that have issues and the rest of it seems to be fine. It's only the things with the yellow exclamation point. And those are basically software apps, so they're not going to affect the installation of Windows 8. They're, Windows 8 can still install even if you have programs that say they are not going to be compatible. As long as your hardware is compatible, everything will be fine. So, you also see there's a choice here to, I want to help make Windows Upgrade Assistant better. I'm clicking the check to say yes to this because the Windows 8 Upgrade Assistant is a brand new way to install Windows that has never been done before on Windows. So, I want to give my feedback of my um, time using the Upgrade Assistant to help make it better for future Windows upgrades. Now after I've gone over with the messages on this screen and decided whether or not I wanted to help make the Windows Upgrade Assistant better, 
you can go ahead and I can go ahead and click next now. Sorry, Windows 8 isn't available. What? Windows 8 isn't available for purchase in the country slash region. <coughs> so for those of you who are expecting a Windows 8 upgrade video, I'm sorry, but I keep receiving this message and I'm currently on hold with a Microsoft um, technical support representative. I'm currently on hold with them. And every time that I do the Windows upgrade process, it goes like this. I click next and then I'm received with this message. Sorry, Windows 8 is, isn't available for online purchase in the country slash region you're in. And then all I can do is hit, um, you can't even see it, back or finish. That's all I can do and then it goes away. So I have not upgraded to the official Windows 8. Because as you can see here, I'm on the Windows 8 Enterprise Evaluation. I'm really mad. I want my Windows 8. I'm on Windows 8, but I want my official Windows 8, you know? I'm really angered right now. But I will get over it because that is just wasted first world problems and I should not be complaining. I should just see what they can do to fix the problem. Ugh, we'll see what happens from here. Oh, the joys of online upgrading to Windows 8. I thought this was gonna be easy. Thanks, Microsoft. Okay. Now, I've went through the entire process of reinstalling Windows 7. Now that I've done that, we're going to find out if I can finally do the upgrade process. I've already re-downloaded I've already re-downloaded the Windows 8 Upgrade Assistant. I'm going to run it as administrator and find out if I can get through the Windows 8 Upgrade finally. Okay, so far this is exactly where I was before. Let's click next. Oh my god! Oh my god, I'm so happy. It is working finally. Now we're going to go to the next step. We don't want to keep nothing because this is a fresh scratch install of Windows 7, so I have nothing to keep. Next, order Windows 8 Pro $39.99. Order. No, I do not want a DVD. Next. I need to put in my information. I'm going to skip this step and we'll come back after okay. I've done all that. Once you've entered your uh, name, email address, phone number, and all the other information that they're going to ask you, it's going to ask you your payment method. And my payment method is via credit card. And I will be right back after I've entered my credentials and moved along. So I entered all my credentials, and now I've been brought to a screen telling me all my information. And you can enter a promo code if you have one. I don't, so we're just going to go ahead and click agree and buy agree and buy processing your order yeah we're gonna be on windows 8 in just a few ooh i gotta back this up i need to copy, copy. view receipt okay i'm viewing my receipt Okay, now I'm at a message that says thank you for ordering and I've printed my receipt. Next. Estimated time for download. I'll come back once the download has completed. Because it doesn't have an estimated time and it's only at 1%. So now I'm at 56% complete and four minutes left on the download well now 57 but you know so when the download gets completed i'll be back and we'll see what the next step is for the online. okay so now i'm at 95 percent complete of the windows 8 well 96 <sighs> getting ahead of me there now i'm almost done with the download of the windows 8 upgrade okay 
Waiting for it to get to 100. Yeah. Yeah. 98. 99. Up and get y'all booted to 100 for me so I can get my upgrade on, girl. Yay! Congratulations. Dang. Now it's got to sit here and check the download, which, how long is that going to take? I was ready to cheer, but no. It's got to check the download. Mm, this is going pretty fast, I guess I'd say. It's already at 15%, so... Yeah. We're just waiting for it to check the download, girl. Hurry up and check my download, yeah. It is already at 30%. I know you think my singing is horrible, but it doesn't matter. I'm just excited for Windows 8. Oh my god. Oh, wait a minute. It says it's getting the files ready. I was really about to say if you are checking the download again, you are going to make me so mad right about now because I want my Windows 8 to hurry up. And now it's preparing to start the installation process. Finally! Getting updates. Checking for updates. So we'll just be waiting for it to check for updates. Downloading updates. Restarting Windows 8 setup. Okay, we'll just wait for it to restart the Windows 8. We're getting a few things ready. Okay, so they're getting a few things ready. We'll wait while they get those few things ready and see what happens next. Now I have the license agreement page. Go ahead and agree to that down here and accept. I don't want to keep anything because I had to do a chicken scratch install of Windows 7. So I have nothing that I need to keep. So next, or install. And now we're brought to the big screen. The screen that is going to install Windows for me. Your PC will restart several times. This may take a while. Well, now we're at 10%. Ten percent. Well, I'll come back and let you know if anything changed or whatever. Now I'm at a screen that tells me, well, it's the same screen, but it uh, changed to a message that says your PC will restart in a few moments. So it got through the zero through a hundred crap. Okay, now my computer is restarting. Let's see what's going to happen there. Configuring Windows updates. No, it don't need to do that because I am skipping to Windows 8. I don't know what you're doing that for. Oh, well, anyway, it didn't do that for too long. Now it's shutting down, so thank you. Hurry up and shut down, girl. I want my Windows 8. Hurry up and shut down, girl. Uh, we're waiting. Waiting for Windows 8. Oh, yeah. It's Windows 8. Is it going to sit here all day and all night long? Oh, it's the Windows 8 logo. And now it's spinning around. So, obviously, I've gotten through to the Windows 8. And now we're just waiting. I wonder what's going to happen. Oh no, it's the Windows 8 logo again and the little thingy is spinning again. But now it tells me preparing. Hmm. 
Now we're at a blank screen again. I wonder what it's going to do this time. It's rebooting. Now we're just waiting. And now we're at the little Windows logo thingy again. And the little dot thingies are spinning around again. We're waiting and waiting and waiting. I wonder what it's going to do after this. Now... It is doing something. Oh, more spinning around. Will it ever end? Waiting and spinning and looking at the Windows logo or the, the new Windows logo. Just in case you didn't know, that is the new Windows logo. Oh, now it says getting devices ready. That process is going fairly quickly because it's already in the 670s. Almost finished. And now we're waiting some more. Oh no, more spinning around. How much spinning around do I have to sit through? You know. Oh, it's getting ready. Well, this done been telling me it's getting ready for... Oh, Lord. This done been telling me it's getting ready for, like, 15 minutes now. Getting ready. I wish it would get ready faster. <sighs> we'll just be sitting here while it gets ready. How much more getting ready do you have to do, Windows 8? Oh, it's doing something. Oh, the screen's black again. Oh, it rebooted. It rebooted again. And now... Oh my god. We have to sit through more spinning. More spinning. Will the spinning process ever end? I don't know. Like, we've seen it like five times now and had to wait through it. Oh, it's doing something. It is... Spinning again. More spinning. Oh, my Jesus. Moving your settings. Well, I didn't have any settings to move. Thank you very much, but... Now it says 100%. But it's not going anywhere. It just says 100%. Real cute. Sit on 100% and not go nowhere. What's that all about? This is getting into 7 minutes. My Jesus. So that means I'm going to have... A 20 minute video? I don't think anybody wants to watch that. Well, whatever. Moving your settings. I'm just gonna sit on 100% and make you wait through some spinning around. 
Oh my god. Please get past this screen. I am tired of waiting. Still, moving your settings. Jeez, you think you could sit on 100% all day long? Because that would be ridiculous. If you did that to me, I would be so aggravated. You are getting on my... Oh, it's doing something. <gasps> I'm finally on. Now, what color do I want to choose? I want to choose that color, the dark green. And I'm going to call my computer's name. I'm just going to call it Acer. Customize. Yeah, no, do not turn on sharing connected devices. Yeah, automatically install important updates. Next. Help improve Windows Store by sending URLs from web connected apps. No. Help Microsoft respond to malicious apps and malware by joining the Yes. Help Microsoft services by sending some location data. No. Participate in the customer experience. Yes. Help improve Windows. Now, after your PC is ready, move your mouse into any corner. The charms. Girl, look at them charms. They so sexy. Thanks for telling me about that. Next. Okay, I figured out that you can move your mouse into the upper right corner and reveal the sexy charms. Okay, thank you for moving along. We're getting your PC ready. This will take a few minutes. Okay, take a few minutes. Ooh, it's changing colors. Like a, a mood thingy. Changing colors. It's ch, ch changing colors. We're getting your PC ready. This will take a few minutes. Well, it better be quicker than two minutes, because two minutes is all I got left on my camera. Well, a minute. Okay, let's start. Yay! We're going to start using Windows now. Well, I made it to Windows 8. And here's what the desktop looks like. Here's the start menu. Here are the charms. And it looks like we're good to go. The music app. Do you want to see what the music app looks like? Well, okay. This is pretty much Windows 8. And I've gotten the installation to correctly complete so this has been german 34 and you have a great day